into the warm-up. Our trip around West Central Ohio takes us to Lipsick to chat with the Vikings head coach Andy Mangus. And this edition of the warm-up brought to you by Coles Market. Andy, it's your first season as head coach of the Lipsick, Lipsick Vikings. How are things going here in training camp thus far? Uh, so far, so good. Uh, I'm pleased with the progress we've made. Um, you know, the, the days during the summer helped get a little bit of uh, acclimation to the new system and terminology. Uh, we kind of threw everything at them this summer, hoping to see what sticks. And, and uh, we're kind of taking it slower these two days, but uh, the kids seem to be picking things up pretty quickly, and um, I'm happy with where we're at. You coached at Finley for uh, a long time, at close to the area, different conference. So what are you going to bring from your experience over at Finley High School? Uh, well, uh, one thing, I, I know a lot of the coaches, uh, you know, from the BBC and, you know, as close as it is in proximity and all the success that the league's had, I'm pretty familiar with things. But, uh, you know, we're bringing our spread offense from Finley, a um, little different formations, uh, but we're bringing that offense. We want to score attitude. Um, but we're going to keep it over here that defense is the priority. Uh, we're going to set the tone on defense. We're going to be physical. Uh, and we hope that carries over a little more to the offense. You know, uh, people have this perception with the spread that's thrown around a lot, but we're going to run the ball. We're going to use our size up front and be physical and uh, just kind of implement some of the spread uh, kind of principles along with that. Yeah, looking at this group, I see the linemen over here. They're right off camera, hitting each other hard. This has got to be one of the strengths of this team, the size up front. Oh, it definitely is. Uh, you know, we got some big, really strong kids. Um, you know, so they're seniors, most of them. Uh, we have some good sizes, and well, in the junior and sophomore class. But, uh, you know, our seniors are going to set the tone, which they did this spring when I got hired in the this summer in the weight room. And, uh, you know, we got to translate that to the football field and be physical up front. BBC has some big linemen all around. How yes. important is it to win the line of scrimmage in, in that conference? Well, it's important in any any conference. You know, at uh, Finley last few years, we've had some really good offenses, but, you know, we get to the, the Central Catholics, the Whitmers. Uh, they were a lot bigger and a lot more physical than we were up front, and uh, those are the games we struggled in. So, you know, we have a big physical line. Arlington has a big physical line. Liberty Benton. You know, just through the league, McCombs got some size, Van Buren's got some size, and to be honest, you know, coaching Division One for 13 years, uh, I'm, I'm kind of shocked coming to this pr predominantly Division Seven BBC right. to see the size of these kids. Some big guys, not yes. that big of a difference between Division One and Division Seven, believe it or not. Yeah, it's it, it's it really is amazing, but it, it's gonna, you know, I think it's gonna be for a fun, exciting league this year with all the size up front and the, the athletes that this league presents. You're inheriting a team that went eight and two last year, made it to the playoffs, lost in week 11, just as they did even the year before. What do you need to do to, to get over that hump and make a deep postseason run? Well, I, I, you know, that kind of been the theme, and you know, we're going to keep preaching it. And it starts up front. You know, uh, Delphus has kind of been the the thorn in their side, so to speak, and you know. We got some big physical kids up front that, you know, we need to set the tone. I don't care who's across from us. You know, I don't care if it's Delphus, Arlington, Liberty Benton. You know, we, we have to be physical up front to, to succeed, uh, to get where we want, whether it's in the league, the BVC. Uh, you know, we have goals extended past that, you know, for the next season in the playoffs. Um, but it's got to start up front. And, you know, just not the big guys as well. You know, we need our athletes. Uh, whether they're playing linebackers or DBs, to come up and fill and be physical. And, uh, you know, offensively, uh, if the receiver or running back doesn't have the ball in their hands, the other guys need to go block and be physical as well. And, and it's not just the big guys. Everybody has to be physical, has to go after other people to help set the tone and help their uh, teammates succeed. Instilling that physicality, does that start day one here, last Friday in camp? Uh, well, actually, it started day one when I got hired um, back in March. And... You know, that's the first thing I talked about. You know, obviously I'm an ex lineman myself, right. and uh, I have that mentality. And you know, I was preaching that to the kids. And, the, and the, you know, obviously you see uh, what we have. And yeah, it's going to start there. And, and we want to set the tone. On the offensive side of the ball, you're replacing a three-year starter in Zach Coleman at quarterback. Mm -hmm. What can we expect at the quarterback position in 2014? Uh, well, uh, right now uh, Ross Mangus is doing a great job. Uh, he's a junior now, and. He was the backup last year. Uh, he got into a few games. I know Zach got banged up a couple games. Uh, one was the playoff game against Delphus. And, uh, you know, 
losing a, an athlete like Zach, who was the player of the year in the league, um, it's going to be hard to replace. But, you know, Ross is doing a great job right now. Uh, the other quarterbacks in the mix, uh, Alex Schrader, uh, even Isaiah Lomley has been getting some snaps as well. Uh, Chase Dunham, the young guy that's coming along well. But uh, they're doing a great job of learning the new system. I mean, it, it's, it is a complicated system, uh, but they've really dove into it. And Coach Gilbert, our quarterback coach, is uh, working extra with them, and uh, they're doing a good job picking that up. And, you know, I got high expectations. A quarterback's a huge part of this uh, offense, and uh, right now they're doing a great job so far. You'll get the chance to see that offense in game action on the 12th scrimmage coming up very soon. What are you hoping to get out of that scrimmage against uh, Ada? Uh, you know, it, being our first scrimmage, um, you know, it's not, we're not going to show everything. We're not going to dive into everything. Uh, it's going to be more. You know, our kids lining up right? Do they know the right assignments? You know, who wants to run to the football on defense? Who wants to play physical up front? Um, so the key things are, you know, and every coach is going to say they want to come out healthy. Um, but, you know, just thinking about the scheme and uh, the transition into this new scheme, I just want to see kids running around, hitting, playing full speed, whether they know what they're doing or not, that they're just going out there and giving all their effort they can. Well, thanks so much for your time, Coach. Best of luck this season. You can watch Lipsick take on Liberty Benton week four on WOSN, and then again week seven when they host Van Buren. Time for a break on the warm-up presented by Coles Market. After the break, Mark Kuntz will chat with some of the Lipsick players. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Coles Market. I'm Mark Kuntz, joined by three of the senior offensive, or two of the senior offensive linemen, Gavin Cuppa Jr. In the middle, we've got Kyle Berger and Brandon Wentworth down on the line, the end of our line. And speaking of the line here at Lipsick, a lot of big physical guys. I'm sure having a, a new head coach in Andy Mangus who's got an offensive line, got a line background, I think you guys probably have to enjoy that a little bit, Gavin. Yeah, you know, Coach Mangus has brought a lot of new stuff to us, which, you know, I think what we've talked about we've all really liked and it's brought a lot more intensity to our practice. Kyle, Vikings have made the playoffs five years in a row. Certainly Joe Kirkendall did a lot to bring Lipsick football back to the top of the BVC. I'm sure you miss him. How are things different with Coach Kirkendall in Patrick Henry back at his alma mater and, and now having Coach Mangus here in Lipsick? Uh, we've done a lot more conditioning this two a days than in the past and I think we're because we're going to have a lot of people going both ways which is going to lead to us needing to be in more condition and everything. Brandon, big offensive line, big defensive line. It, it's kind of scary how big the lines are throughout the BBC this year, and you guys certainly are, are no exception. Uh, yeah, we, we're going to have one of the bigger lines of the, in the BBC, and hopefully we can get somewhere with them. Jordan Chamberlain coming back. He'll be running behind those big holes you guys open up over 1,200 yards last year, 18 touchdowns for Jordan. Having someone like him in the backfield, what does that do to, to help your, your job, Gavin? It helps out a lot because, you know, it could be the smallest hole or the biggest hole. We know he's going to hit it. So, Kyle, a couple of weeks now before the opener this year traveling to Spencerville. Your thoughts on getting ready for the Bearcats? It's nice to get a new opponent and not face the same teams every year. Speaking of facing new teams, North Baltimore in the BBC. And this year, Brandon, you've got North Baltimore on the schedule. What do, what do you think having North Baltimore, Hopewell, Loudon will be the, the Week 10 matchup? What are those, those two programs, what does that bring to the BBC? Um, it's going to bring more competition, uh, new faces, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Gavin, you certainly have had a productive offseason, getting a lot of attention from big schools in college, Division One level schools. What's, what's the recruiting process been like for you so far? It's been fun, you know, meeting everybody, see, getting to see a bunch, you know, different programs. And like I said, it's just cool the people you get to meet through it. Right now, do you have a, a top five or anything? I'm not. Nope. I'm not going <laughs> to say anything yet. <laughs> All right. Don't blame me. I had to ask the question. <laughs> Kyle, what do you think this team needs to improve on the most between now and that week one game with the Bearcats? We need to gain more depth. We're struggling at our group two level right now. And if we get that going, we should be a pretty good team when it comes around. And certainly, Brandon, when you talk about a smaller school, Division Seven school like Lipsick, depth is an issue. Is that why conditioning is so important this year? Yeah, we got a lot of guys going both ways. Uh, most of our linemen are going to go both ways this year, so I mean, we got to get in shape. So, big nasty ugly. Is that what I was hearing you guys saying at the end <laughs> oh, of the drill? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's for sure. Big nasty and ugly here at the Lipsick Vikings. <laughs> We're going to take a break here on the warm-up, brought to you by Coles Market, which is big and. 
Never nasty or ugly. We'll be back here on WLSN. <laughs>